What's up, my YouTube and YouTube bits? All right, so here's another review. Um, like I've always said before, this is my own personal opinions on this review. Um, this review is on a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Um, in my personal opinion, first of all, as y'all know, y'all have to see this. Or some people do. For whatever reason. It's completely empty. Um, but in my personal review of this gun, my personal opinion, this gun, hands down, is probably uh, probably the best. I also have a Ruger LCR, or I'm sorry, LCP 380, and this thing blows out of the water. Um, the only bad part of this pistol, um, and a lot of people have the same problem or the same complaint, is the long trigger pull. And we already know it's completely empty. No magazine, no anything in it. So, you know, when you pull this, you know, you got to pull back quite a bit and it breaks right about there. And it's almost all the way back to the back. Um, you know, of course I did reviews on it before I bought it. And to me, um, it sucked at first, but I got used to it. And you slip this in your pocket and it's gone. As far as the weight, I don't really know about the weight that much because it, I could care less about the weight. I carry enough of it. So a couple more you know, ounces or pounds or whatever ain't going to bother me now. Another complaint I have, which ain't really a complaint, is the um, sight. As you can see, there's absolutely no illumination on it. You could take some fingernail polish if you really wanted to and put it on there. I don't. I care less about that. Uh, it's got a laser. Um, still empty. This is the solid part of the laser. As you can see on my shirt. And this is the... Um, where it kind of pulsates and then off. So it's got two different settings. Uh, the magazine holds six and one in the pipe. Um, personally, you know, when I carry it, I always have hollow points uh, for obvious reasons. So I don't, you know, hurt nobody else if I had to shoot somebody, which I hope I never, ever, ever, ever have to do. Um, they make a magazine extension which will actually let you put another round in there so you can carry seven in the mag and one in the gun for total eight that's an add-on feature and also the trigger they sell an extra trigger I saw um, to make it you know break probably I would say probably like right in there somewhere you know I practice enough with it now, I ain't saying I'm the best shot in the whole wide world but I know that when I hold the gun and I shoot it it's going where I need it to go so, you know, to me, that's okay. I'm okay with it. Uh, what I like to do, I like to carry this DeSanta Superfly. Um, here's a little logo. Uh, I like carrying it because when you put it in your pocket, it's pretty much gone. Um, you know, I'll leave the magazine out and I'll stick it in there. You know, and you can, this is a fully adjustable. You can take it off. Uh, I'm not going to. And you can you know put it up higher or lower. For me, this right here is perfect. Uh, when you put it in your pocket, this is me with nothing in my pocket. This is me with it in my pocket. Looks about the same. Uh, I have no belt on today, and it does not pull my pants down whatsoever, even with the magnum. So, if you're thinking about getting this gun, you know a lot of people say when I first went to get this gun, they I went to Sportsman's Warehouse, and they said that's a girl gun. Well, you know what? Is it really? Because I'm not a girl, and I enjoy it. Um, you know, it feels perfect in my hand. Uh, actually, the other magazine that I have, now this is it, has a pinky extension on it, but I still, I mean, I still can't get my full pinky out. That's okay. That's the way I do it, you know, and it's, it's fine. Uh, if you're thinking about getting this gun, by all means, it's 100% worth it. I recommend it recommend it 100%. Um, you just can't beat it. Um, if you have any questions about this gun, you know, I am by mean, no means any expert on any, any guns. 
or anything like that. I just know what I know, and this I know is great. I've taken it all down, cleaned it, easy take down, easy put back together. I have yet to run the battery completely down on the uh, laser. So I don't really know how to change that yet, but when I need to, I'll go to YouTube. Uh, other than that, if you are thinking about getting this pistol, <laughs> Don't let it stop you. Uh, and if and if you still are kind of uh, on the fence about it, I would go to a local range because a lot of times down there they have pistols you can shoot. I didn't do that. I just bought it. And you can just try them out. And phew, done deal then. Anyway, if you have any questions about anything on this pistol um, that I can help you with, feel free to ask. One more thing. Uh, sometimes um, on tighter clothing, if I don't want to put it in my front pocket, I have something, um, another holster called a Bursa Clip. Awesome. Uh, I'll do a review on that if you like, or I might do it anyway. I have it for my SR45, my SR9, um, my XDS45, this, and the LCR uh, 357. Anyway. Any questions, feel free to holler at me. Later.